Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, make sure to click the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel um, to see future videos from me. Um, but today we are going to the thrift store. Um, I am probably gonna go to a few if I don't see a lot from like the two that we're gonna go to. Hopefully we can just go to three. Three. Okay. Um, I am kind of mixed. I am looking mostly for home decor, but if I see something cute, I'm gonna pick it up. So um, the first thrift store that we're at is St. Vincent de Paul, and this is in Irving off of Northwest Highway. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get in line. We're a little bit early. It opens at 10 and we got here at 9.50. So yeah, let's start off here. So we just left the first thrift store. Now we are at the second thrift store and that is Salvation Army off of Harry Hines. Um, they have a really big selection of furniture. 
so that's probably where I'm gonna be at. I might go into the clothes because they have a really good uh, vintage selection here as well. So, um, yeah, let's go. Hey y'all, so we decided to pop in vintage store. Um, this vintage store that we're about to go in is called Dolly Vintage and this is in kind of a deep Elm area, it's off of Haskell. Um, but I really love the clothes selection in here, not specifically for plus size, um, but they do have a great selection of clothes. Um, also, they have really good accessories and little knickknacks that you can find. Um, and I'm going to try to look for accessories and, you know, some little knickknacks or home decor that I can put in little nooks and crevices. So, let's go. Good morning guys so today i am thrifting i'm at my first thrift store which is the salvation army that i always go to off of harry hines um today is july 4th so that means that since it's a holiday um you get half off i'm excited to see what i find i've been eyeing these lamps so if like furniture is half off then i'm definitely getting those lamps today if they're still here um, but I just wanted to check in to see what they had because two things I'm looking for. I'm looking for furniture, um, just for furniture and home decor, just because I'm trying to um, accumulate home decor for uh, my future place. I plan on moving next year and I want to make sure that I have all of my wonderful vintage and cool gem home decor. Um, before I move out and then also I'm looking for some cool vintage um, out or not outfits but um, clothing items um, because I want to start a reselling store um, so that people can quote unquote thrift with me um, but in a sense you're just shopping my resale site so hopefully I'm able to get all of that together um, but I'm excited to always thrift so um, I decided to come out today to thrift. But as always, I am going to do a um, collective haul at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, and if you are new here, um, and if you like thrifting videos, if you like plus size fashion, fashion in general, or style, um, please click the subscribe button and like this video, please. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, so um, it's been a few days since I've thrifted. I did go thrifting yesterday, which was 4th of July, just because I had a half off sale on um, home decor, furniture, electronics, all that good stuff. So I was able to find two things yesterday. Um, but 
um, from the previous thrift trip. I wanted to show you kind of in a formal sense of the things that I got from the thrift store from my vlogs. So a lot of the things that I got from the thrift store is mostly home decor. I got a few clothing pieces, um, but the majority of them um, are gonna go into a reselling project that I'm doing. Um, so I'm working on that as well as far as home decor for my future place. Um, hopefully I'm moving within a year so that I can show you guys the place. But let me go ahead and get into the clothing and accessory items that I picked up from the thrift and the vintage store. So from the first thrift store that I went to, which was St. Vincent, I got two clothing items and an accessory. Um, so the first item that I got was this um, oriental Chinese print, floral print dress. Um, and this is from the brand, uh, this is from the brand Glamorous Curve. Um, and it says that it's a size 22, which I'm a size 1820, so I thought that it would fit perfectly. Um, but it is a lot smaller, just, and there's no stretch to this dress. Um, but it is going to go into my reselling project, so be on the lookout for that. This dress will be a part of that. And the second clothing item that I got, um, they're not my size, which they're going to go toward the reselling project. Um, and they're these jacquard pants. And I love the print on these, if you can see the print um, and the sheen on these. They just give off a very good quality um vibe and i feel like someone who loves eclectic pieces in their wardrobe can easily piece these with different graphic tees um i could see with graphic tees maybe some bands or like some sneakers with it or you could dress it up with a dress shirt and some heels um you know they're just very versatile um and i feel like that would be a good Thing to put in my reselling projects. The accessory piece that I got from that thrift store is this brooch, if you can see it. I really liked how big it was. I like the uniqueness of it. Um, I plan on adding this to the blazer that I got um, from Salvation Army. This says that it was $4.99, um, but the jewelry that day was half off. So it was $2.50 for the brooch. Um, and again, I plan on adding this to a blazer. Um, I'm kind of getting into brooches now. <laughs> um, and I think I want to have like a jacket where I have a cluster of brooches that just kind of go together on, you know, different parts of the jacket. I think that'll be a fun project for me to do. Next is the blazer that I decided to get. And it's this navy and black pinstriped men's oversized blazer that you saw me try it on i really love this and again like i said i'll probably add my brooch to it so if you can see it together i don't know if you can see that can you see that i think it'll go well with it it'll probably be down here somewhere but you know just tying it in with the fabric i think it will be very cute um but this was it says $12.99. I think it was probably $12.99 because I don't think I went on a half off day. Um, but it was $12.99. Usually, I don't buy blazers that are that expensive. <laughs> um, which is saying something because it's only $13. Um, usually, when I go to the thrift store, I'm finding blazers for like $2, a dollar. Um, but I really like this one. And um, I like the print on it the pinstripe detail um, and I'm pretty sure I can wear this with a lot of different things I could see it with some light wash jeans and a graphic tee maybe a white graphic tee for the summer um, I could definitely see these with some shorts or like some Bermuda shorts that would be really cute with like some sandals and bad sandals and a top or like a crop top underneath I think that would be really cute too so I might do um, a TikTok where I style this blazer different ways. I may do that. I was gonna do a white blazer. 
I might do that too. But I think I'm gonna style this one up different ways so that you guys can see it. Um, speaking of TikTok, if you aren't following me, um, my at is Shanti Dajane, just like my Instagram at. Um, make sure to follow me there. I do post um, different outfit inspirations every now and then. I'm still trying to get the gist of TikTok. So, <laughs> Uh, bear with me, but you can add me on there. I try to upload something maybe every week or every two weeks. Again, I'm trying to get the gist of it. So, um, yeah, but I might do a TikTok on that. Or if you prefer a YouTube video on it, click the like button, let me know, comment, let me know um, whichever you guys prefer how to see it, um, the best way to see it. That's probably going to be the best option so you guys can actually see it. Yeah, so. Pinstripe blazer. Um, and I believe that is all of the clothing items that I got. Now I'm more focused on home decor. When I'm going to the thrift store, you know, I want to find pieces that are similar from the things that I see on my Pinterest. I have an idea of an eclectic, vintage, modern, mid-century, glam, funky, all black, black girl, black woman inspired. If you saw an apartment that was designed by Solange, Tracy Ellis Ross, and India Ari, and Erica Badu, and Joe Scott. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that's the vibe that I'm going for. Um, I want to have an art collage full of blackness. Um, I want to have African mask and African sculptures and um, candlesticks everywhere, candles everywhere. I want. I want it to be just grand. <laughs> so all of my pieces have to be really, really cool and eclectic. And I've already bought a lot of different things. Some things I've been accumulating for like two years. So second thrift store that I went to um, was the Salvation Army off of Harry Hines. That particular thrift store has great vintage um vintage clothing um but they do have artwork they have couches tvs electronics um cupboards dressers nightstands lamps they have it all um and i really love that thrift store because i feel like they have a lot of different options as far as um vintage pieces that come in um vintage artwork that comes in just different things like that um and i always go there so that i can see you know what did i have this month that's there you know that'll go with my decor so at that thrift store it was majority home decor for me um i know you saw i know you saw this painting this is a beautiful painting of a black woman um, and it is certified on the back. If you can see the gold emblem, it is certified. Um, this was done in 96. Um, and on in 96, this was priced at $200. If you can see it. Um, so just imagine how much this might be now and i got it for 25 dollars okay this is a beautiful painting um i already put it on my wall i decided to take it down for the video but uh, i just love this it's so beautiful it's so beautiful look how melanated this woman is look how radiant this woman is with her gold hoops like it's just ugh. it screams blackness beautiful melanated woman feminine vibes and that's what I'm going for so yes some other things that I got from that thrift store okay. are these cool wooden figures um, they remind me of a woman's shape um, maybe with her hands up or you know something like that but they're just so cool and eclectic 
um these were $3.99 each um i just i really love these these are just so eclectic and different and um they could be in a modern space. I could see them in a modern space or in like a, a vintage space, kind of like what I want to do. Um, but I really love these. They have a wood base, both of them. And like I said, they're both $3.99. Um, and I, I didn't go on a half off day. They were $3.99. And I, when I saw these, I rushed over to get them um, just because I thought somebody was going to see them and they was going to see them like I saw them and could picture them. Some, I ran. To get these i really love these um another item that i decided to get from that thrift store on that day was this vintage bird cage this is a <laughs> actual bird cage um and i plan on spray painting it like this navy green color um just to make it more um modern um but i plan on putting um maybe a candle in here I think that'll be cute, like a, a cool looking candle or um, maybe a knickknack, something to go inside of here because I really love how cute this is. Um, maybe even a plant, like some um, some succulents or, you know, a, a cacti, something really cool. Um, the bottom does open, but I'm going to glue that. Um, that's just for the bird so the bird can leave, but... <laughs> They also have it also has a, a bird door that opens and closes. So yes, this was a great, great find. Another piece that I got, um, which I got it yesterday on the half off home decor day, um, was this glass barrel. Um, and I really love this. I could see this with some pumpus grass or pumpus flowers in it you know just coming out of it um is this is really pretty i um plan on because i have a lot of um bases and things that i've gotten from thrift stores and i want to do like different clusters of vases or vase vases vases it's a vase so <laughs> i want to do different clusters of vases um throughout my living space just because I feel like that is very bourgeoisie very um very very cute and they're all different colors um that kind of mesh well and go well with each other I don't like matchy matchy so yeah but I really love this they had another one and I was going to get it because I love symmetry so having like two but I just decided to get this one so that I could have different types of vases and things of that sort so that I can place them in my apartment or wherever I live next year so this is what I got um, some other things that I got from some other thrift stores that I went to that I did not record, um, which I went yesterday, I did pick up some candlesticks. Um, candlesticks are something that i seen um, on Pinterest where they place a lot of different candlesticks and things in a fireplace or um, on a, you know, a kitchen table or something like that, where it's like different types of candlesticks that... Um, it's one piece but if I have a fireplace I'm definitely putting candlesticks in it just different ones that you know so anyway um, the candlesticks that I got I'm about to show them to you so amongst all of the candlesticks that I already have um, I added these two to the mix um, this one's more of a brassy gold and this one's more of a metallic gold um, this one was five dollars this one i can't remember how much this one i think it was like two dollars yeah but i really love these two um and like i said they're different um but i feel like if i had them together with my other candlesticks they would go perfectly well in a fireplace that would be really really cute and i forgot to mention the um the little wall candlesticks that i got from the first thrift store that I went to at St. Vincent are these. Um, and I feel like these would go really, really cute 
or well um, next to the painting that I got from Salvation Army. Um, I want it to be like a museum type of thing and I feel like having lights or candles or different knickknacks in between the photos or portraits or paintings or whatever have you. Um, I wanted to put different things in between them so it could be like an actual art gallery and art collage. Um, so I really love these. They're very detailed as you can see. Um, and these were $4.99 but they were half off so they were $2.50 each. Um, and they're just really cute. You can tell that they're good quality because they're heavy um, and they look like they've been around for a while. So yes, these are the two little candlestick wall hangings that I got. From the Salvation Army yesterday, picked up these lamps that I have been eyeing for like a month. <laughs> um, but they were $44 each and I had it. So I decided to see if they had it on the half off day. They were still there. So I was able to get two for $44. Yes. Um, these lamps are a recreated, I'm gonna say this was like an army bomb, or, no, not a, not a bomb, maybe a tank um, of some sort. And they redid it and made it into a lamp. Um, and on there, I saw that the original price, because I believe these lamps were at a vintage store before, um, they were priced at $250. So, I got a steal. Let me show you these lamps. Okay. So, I was only able to bring one in here just because they're so huge. As you can see, this is very tall. Um, but if you can see, it's kind of like a tank looking thing and it's very tall. That's the base and I have two of these. So imagine these being um, in a bedroom with a nightstand on both sides with some mirrors behind the lamps and these just grand lamps on the side. Ugh. This is so gorgeous. Um, I kind of like the rustic look of it, but I might spray paint them or spray paint the lampshades, change the lampshades up. I don't know yet. Uh -oh. I don't know yet, but I really love these lamps. And I saw these lamps. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so tall. They're so big. They're so nice. And when I looked at the price, I was like, wow. So this used to be $250 each, $250 each. So imagine spending $500 on these vintage lamps. And I got each one for $2,250. I'm just over, I'm just so excited. Um, but yes, so I picked this up and I got the other one. It's in the other room, um, but finally got them and I'm just so excited. I love this lamp. <sighs> Let me stop. All right. So last but not least, um, the last place that I went to when I did the vlog was a vintage store. Um, and I only got two things out of there. Um, one was an accessory, one was a decor item. So let's get into those two pieces. So the accessory that I got from the vintage store is this cool silver necklace. If you can see the details in it. Okay. Now, usually I don't do silver, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to do silver today because this is so cool. Um, I feel like this is a Iris Apfel moment. Um, she would really love this necklace and I'm trying to get more like her. I wanna be a maximalist like her. Um, and I feel like having this cool necklace a part of my collection. So I really love it. Let me try it on, actually. Okay, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's so nice. So great. Oh. It's so cute. 
but I really love this piece. I'm not sure what time it's from. I would guess maybe the 70s or the 80s, maybe. Um, but I really love this piece. And I'm gonna have to figure out how, how I'm gonna style it, what I'm gonna style it with, because um, I'm usually used to gold. But I really love this piece, it's really cute. So that's the accessory that I got from the vintage store. The home decor piece that I got from the vintage store is this man that's hitting a drum, okay? Don't judge me, don't judge me. But I already told you what my style was for my home decor and he fits the bill. Um, I just love how strong he looks. Um, I think getting this piece kind of, kind of helps me tether myself to my ancestors previous from slavery. I just feel like our people were royal, our people were strong, our people were resilient. Um, and I think this piece is just something that um, kind of reflects that for me and I can see it, something that's tangible. Um, but I really love how he just looks great. He looks, he's looking up to the stars. He's looking toward greatness. He's having a joyous time beating his wonderful drum. I just really love this piece. Um, and I can see this, um, you know how you have your TV or a bookshelf. I could easily see him next to some books or next to some pottery or something of that sort um, as a little knickknack or home decor. So I'll bring him closer so you can see him. But he's really great and I love him. That is everything that I got <laughs> from these two thrift trips um, that I went on. So last week and then yesterday from July 4th. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the things that I got. Um, I feel like the more I do this, the more you'll see kind of like my style as far as clothing wise, as far as home decor, you'll see kind of what I'm trying to do, what I aspire to, and what I like. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this content. Um, again, if you want to see more of these type of videos, click the like button, comment on it if you will. Um, I do plan on spending more time thrifting with you guys and maybe I can do it like another way. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I had fun. If you are a subscriber, make sure to click the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a video. Um, and again, like, comment, uh, what your favorite thing was that I bought, um, your favorite place that I thrifted, um, just anything that you want me to know or that you enjoyed, uh, just comment, like. Um, and again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.